everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike and special hello to Nigella because sis, I know you're watching because I ended your career once before. I'm in no mood for that noise and chaos. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it again because yes, that means I'm cooking in the kitchen. We're going to be baking today. Chaos. Now there's like a bit of a baking, like a morning tea moment tomorrow at work and I kind of need to snap. Noise and chaos. Before I start baking, can we just appreciate my outfit? <laughs> Points were made today at work. Points were made. I'm already tired. So I had work, then I went out for pizza, <laughs> social life, and now I need to bake. So I'm kind of cheating. I don't know if I'm going to call it cheating or winning. Is cheating just winning for people who thought about it first? And what I mean by that is I'm going to be baking lemon chocolate tarts and like it's going to be very minimal like baking per se. Noise. This lighting honestly. Chaos. I think as the inventor of baking I kind of have like privileges like I can kind of cheat a little bit. So the plan is to make these chocolate lemon tarts. Now you'd think maybe I googled it maybe I got a recipe and you would be incorrect. This is all from up here power. And I've got some work to do, very hard work. So what I'm gonna do is I have these tart cases, lemon curd, food of the gods, cream and chocolate melts and I'm gonna make a ganache and then I'm gonna put it all together and it's gonna be absolutely breathtaking and everyone's gonna scream. First things first, I need to turn the oven on. How do I? Noise and chaos. Let me just take my minions fridge magnet off the oven because I don't want the cyst to melt. The ganache, mm -hmm. I can already tell it's going to be an absolute fucking nightmare. But life is about trial and error. Trial and error. So this is fine. <laughs> okay, place the tarts on a large breaking tray. Breaking tray? It says bake for 10 minutes, full stop. Cool. For some reason, I thought putting the tray in here at like a preheat moment was a good idea. I now take that back. Just let me open it. Oh my god. Why do they look like that? Okay, so these are like super shallow. Oh my god. Sha sha la 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 la. I'm in the deep end. What should I tell you? All right, everybody. Once you've got your tarts on the tray, they go in the oven for 10 minutes. Very hard work. Now I have this lemon curd. I don't actually know if this tastes nice. Bitch. So you might be like, well, you're cheating. You're fraudulent. Why don't you just make the lemon curd yourself? A few years ago, I went through a phase of cooking a lot of the lemon meringue tarts, and my mum can vouch for that. And I used to make my own everything. I'd make the base, I'd make the lemon curd, and I'd make the meringue, and that shit went off. But in total, it would take me like seven or eight hours to do, and I don't have time to be doing that kind of shit. Now, in terms of making ganache, I don't know why I assumed this is going to be like an easy activity, but let's just do it anyway. Am I a baking channel now? I'm going to be using my Pyrex bowl to melt the chocolate and the cream. However, we need to get that water simmering first. Is this too big? Yes. Stressful, but better. I just realized I bought the wrong cream. I bought dollop cream, which is like, <coughs> I'm in no mood. I fucked up, I fucked up. Noise and chaos. Well, apparently this is saying you put this whole lot and half a cup of cream and I've got the wrong cream. So let's just fucking do it and see what happens. I want to keep some for me. <laughs> I feel like using a metal spoon is not a good idea. So I'm going to use a plastic spoon. Why am I narrating this like anyone actually gives a shit? I need to Instagram this. Chaos. Hello? Why is it so runny? It shouldn't be that runny. The good thing with this recipe is that it's a bunch of really good tasty ingredients, so surely I can't make them taste that bad together. Okay, maybe I snapped. Kind of, I just invented ganache as well, that's crazy. I'm just gonna sit in my chair now, I hope that's fine. So the aim is to... Move! Spread the lemon curd over the tart shell and then cover it in chocolate. Previously on Pretty Little Liars. Previously on Lost. Previously on Vampire Diaries. Previously on Grey's Anatomy. Oh, that one's a little bit mm, chonky. You know what's been sending me lately? 
those memes of Nicki Minaj and Tom Holland as a couple. So fucking funny. So random too, which makes it even better. It says allow to cool and firm. I don't know about that. I don't know what's gonna happen when it gets cold. Like, is it gonna hold shape? Should I put, let's put in the freezer, the blast chiller. Okay, so this has been in the freezer for, I mean the blast chiller for like 10 minutes. I think I had a quick scroll through Instagram. Okay, points were made. Oh my God, oh my God. Is that allowed? <laughs> Are all citrus fruit? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna put these Insta baddies in the fridge. So we've got the tart done, the lemon curd is done, the chocolate ganache is done. I'm interested to see how these look when they come out of the blast chiller. I'm in no mood for that noise and chaos. I'm interested to see what everyone thinks about my creation tomorrow at work. Anyway, thank you for watching me reinvent cooking yet again. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on the video. If you got something to say, leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And FYI, I'm working on the next essential viewing and it is a doozy. But yes, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. A peace out. A bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.